Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has affirmed the depth of the brotherly relations between Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, which are based on a long history of solid ties and common stances established by founding fathers and preserved thereafter by their citizens. His Majesty the King was speaking during his meeting with the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who attended by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at the Al Safriya Palace. His Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, who is on a visit to Bahrain, conveyed to His Majesty the King the greeting of UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty requested the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince to convey his greetings to the UAE President, as well as his wishes of further progress and prosperity to his brotherly country. His Majesty lauded the high level of bilateral relations, citing the two countries' constant coordination, similar ambitious policies, common visions to safeguard security and stability, protect maritime navigation from any any potential threats that may put global trade at risk and resolve to carry on their progress march, which is widely appreciated regionally and internationally. His Majesty expressed his deep pride in the UAE's firm supportive stance towers Bahrain at all levels. He stressed the pivotal role played by the UAE to strengthen the pillars of security and stability in the region and the world, highlighting its unwavering commitment towards brotherly and neighboring countries to fend off dangers, face terrorist threats to countries' security and stability, and its constant support for development plans in the region and the world, affirming its pioneering and important role in promoting peace and prosperity. His Majesty lauded the development strides currently witnessed by the UAE, citing its advanced programs in developing atomic, or atomic energy, space sciences, medical sciences, sustainable energy and other fields, which proves its advanced civilizational position achieved thanks to the efforts of its people in a way that contributes to serving all humanity, which he said is a source of pride for the Arab and Islamic nations as well as the world. During the meeting, His Majesty and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi reviewed regional and international issues in addition to the two countries' cooperation bilaterally and at the international level to face challenges and deal with various developments. The UAE delegation uh, comprised the ruler's representative in Al Zafra region, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Deputy Secretary General of the Supreme National Security Council, Ali bin Hamad Al Shamsi, Deputy Diplomatic advisor to the UAE, President Dr. Anwar bin Mohammed Gargash, UAE ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and a board of directors, chairman of the Abu Dhabi Airports Company, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Tahnoun Al Nahyan. The Bahrain delegation, comprised of National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Finance and National Economy Minister, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Majesty hosted a a lunch banquet in honor of the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and his accompanying delegation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, upon his arrival to the kingdom on a brotherly visit. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of their Highnesses and Excellencies also received the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. The Guard of Honor saluted the kingdom's distinguished guest.
This match to King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa bid farewell to Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, upon departure from the Kingdom of Bahrain after a brotherly visit during which he held a meeting with His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan was also seen off by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and dignitaries. Following his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's royal directives, the cabinet chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa approved the creation of the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medical Medal for Medical Merit. The medal comes in recognition of the efforts of doctors, nurses, medical staff and support staff as well as frontline health workers who have sacrificed their lives while performing their duties. The medal represents His Majesty's continued support of the relentless efforts of Bahraini frontline health workers and support staff who have confronted with courage the challenges presented by the pandemic. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Khalibiya Palace. The cabinet commended the meeting that took place between His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in which His Majesty the King emphasized the importance of further strengthening GCC ties and unity to advance the development of member countries. The cabinet noted His Majesty the King's statement that the Al-Ula Declaration had reaffirmed the commitment of GCC member states to the goals of the GCC Charter through integration and strengthening cooperation amongst these six GCC Arab nations. The declaration reflects the aspirations of GCC citizens for a return to joint GCC cooperation, greater integration and cohesion. The cabinet emphasized the importance of mutual respect among the citizens of the GCC member states and responsible media discourse to be compatible with the social values, Arab customs and traditions that consolidate the unity and common purpose of GCC citizens. The cabinet then extended its best wishes to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the citizens and residents of Bahrain, as well as to the Arab and Islamic nations on the occasion of the new Islamic Hijri year 1443. The cabinet commended uh, the kingdom's achievements in mitigating the impact of COVID-19 and extended its gratitude to Bahrain citizens and residents for their responsibility in adhering to necessary precautionary measures. In this regard, the cabinet noted the importance of continuing to uh, responsibly follow these measures in support of Team Bahrain. In relations to World Days Against Trafficking in Persons 2021, the cabinet highlighted the kingdom's commitment to strengthening cooperation with the international community in tackling people trafficking and expressed its thanks and appreciation for the active role played by the Ministry of Interior and responsible authorities. The cabinet stressed the importance of protecting international maritime traffic from threats that adversely impact global trade, stressing the need to unify international efforts to further strengthen regional maritime security.
The cabinet then approved the following memorandum, the memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding amending the provisions of the decree law regarding medals to create the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft resolution on financial regulations for government health institutions aimed at balancing financial and accounting transactions and managing the cycle of revenues and expenditures within them. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft a resolution on employee regulations across government health institutions, which includes hiring and job specifications, as well as evaluating performance and training. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance regarding Bahrain's contribution in support of the international response to COVID-19 and the provision of vaccinations. A memorandum by the Minister for Shura Council and the Council of Representatives Affairs regarding regulations aimed at enhancing cooperation with the Legislative Authority. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then reviewed the uh, following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Labour and Social Development regarding labour market indicators for the first half of 2021. The report noted the outcomes of government initiatives to protect the labour market from the repercussions of the global pandemic, as well as the role of the National Employment Programme 2.0 in providing sustainable employment opportunities for Bahraini citizens. The Cabinet took note of the following ministerial reports. A report on a fire incident that occurred in Askar and the Ministry of Interior's response. The annual report by the University of Bahrain. A report on the visit of Sudan's Minister of Foreign Affairs. A report on the visit of Pakistan's Minister of Foreign Affairs. A report on international exchange of visits between Bahrain and various foreign delegations during August of 2021. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the historic qualification of the first handball team to the quarterfinals of the handball competition in the 32nd Olympic Games Tokyo. 2020. His Highness expressed his pride in the honorable achievements, adding that the team earned everyone's confidence following the positive results it obtained in various participations. His Highness stated that the result reflects the progress and prosperity that Bahraini sports is experiencing as a result of the support of His Majesty the King to sports and athletes, which contributed to making many achievements in various uh, continental and international participations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid highlighted the interest and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the sports sector through the developmental projects implemented by the government which contributed to creating the appropriate climate for athletes to prepare optimally for participations. He noted that the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to translate the directives of His Majesty the King resulted in achieving a qualitative leaps in the field of sports and contributed to the development of the sports field. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the efforts of the handball team in this participation, stressing that the success of the team in achieving many distinguished results reflects the hard work of the Bahrain Handball Federation. He he wished the team success in the upcoming participations. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, praised the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa at the regional and international level during his reception of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Council also endorsed His Majesty's emphasis on consolidating Gulf unity and bolstering relations, which was included in Al Ula statement. On uh, the occasion of the new Hijri year, the SCIA expressed congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations. The Council also expressed their appreciation of His Majesty's directives to issue the Bahraini Hijri calendar for the year 1443 in accordance with the Sharia, scientific and astronomical standards and uh, with the methodology of the Al Zubara and Bahrain calendar. The Council praised the extensive efforts of the Supreme Committee for the Bahraini calendar chaired by the President of the STIA. The Council also commended the Kingdom's keenness on supporting religious freedom evident in the support for religious occasions such as the Ashura season. 
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, participated in the remote student meeting organized by the Ministry of Education with the Royal Guard team headed by Major Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which was attended by a number of officials and specialists as well as over 300 students. The Minister hailed the Royal Patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the continuous support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the follow up of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor. And Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which enabled the Royal Guard team to reach the summit of Mount Everest and make this honorable achievement for the kingdom. And Naomi noted that this meeting comes within the framework of the ministry's keenness to educate students on Bahrain's achievements. He highlighted the ministry's efforts to establish summer clubs with the aim of accommodating students from different academic levels. An implementation of the royal directives issued by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to start vaccination, vaccinating Bahraini citizens residing abroad against COVID-19 who are unable to get vaccinated and in order to preserve the health and safety of citizens and support national efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in combating COVID-19. The Embassy of Bahrain to Jordan started today vaccinating Bahraini citizens in Amman at the Abdali Hospital under the supervision of a Bahraini medical team. The Ambassador of Bahrain to Jordan, Ahmed bin Yusuf al rawai commended the royal directives of His Majesty the King, which showcases His Majesty's keenness on the health and safety of Bahraini citizens, noting his appreciation towards the efforts exerted by the responsible authorities in Jordan to facilitate the vaccination process for Bahraini citizens. The Ministry of Health has announced the rescheduling of the second dose of the Sputnik vaccine due to the rescheduling of production and import by the manufacturing company. The Ministry clarified that the extension will not affect the, elec the, the effectiveness of the vaccine and that increasing the time period between the two doses can increase effectiveness in some cases. The Ministry affirmed that it will reschedule all appointments for individuals who have registered for the second dose of the Sputnik vaccine via the Be Aware app according to the dates of the new batches scheduled to arrive in the kingdom by the manufacturer. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,110,867 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,058,710 had taken the second, and 153,457 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the committee to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 991, with 105 recoveries and 98 registered new cases. 32 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 55 are contacts of active cases, and 11 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.